can be obtained in one plant. Two vegetables can be obtained from one plant. So this is how, this is the technology which has been adopted. So in this schematic representation I have shown how the protoplasts of two different cells are fused to one another to produce a hybridoma cell which is also called as a heterocarion and after heterocarion cell is obtained this cell will be grown into a complete plantlet through tissue culture technology. The explants which are used for obtaining tomato plants are the mesophyll cell of tomato plant and mesophyll cell of potato plant. After isolating the leaves of potato and tomato plant, the leaves are subjected for surface sterilization and after surface sterilization is done, the mesophyll cells are isolated. After the mesophyll cells are isolated of both potato and tomato, the cells will be subjected for a process called as plasmolysis because of which the protoplast gets separated from the wall and after plasmolysis we will dissolve the cell wall by putting an enzyme called as cellulase. So as soon as cellulase enzyme is put the wall of the cells will get dissolved so that the protoplast get isolated. See this is the cell wall. After we dissolve the cell walls of both potato and tomato plant the protoplast will get isolated. So both the protoplasts are deployed. The protoplast of potato is deployed, the protoplast of tomato is deployed. After the protoplasts are isolated, the protoplasts are fused to one another by putting a chemical called as PEG, phosphoenol glycol. Polyethylene glycol, sorry, polyethylene glycol is put so that a hybrid protoplast is obtained which is a combination of potato and tomato. Now this hybrid protoplast will be subjected for reconstitution of the wall. We put an enzyme called as cellulose and uh, we will put a chemical called as cellulose and as soon as we put the chemical called as cellulose, the wall gets surrounded around the cell. That cell is now called as the reconstituted cell. After this cell is reconstituted, this cell becomes a tetraploid cell, which is a combination of potato and tomato. And after this reconstituted, reconstituted cell is obtained, the cell is cultured through single cell culture technology, so that a entire plantlet is obtained, and that plantlet which is obtained will be a somatic hybrid. And the protoplast which is obtained after the fusion of both the protoplast is called as hybridoma protoplast. Well, this hybrid plant is a tetraploid plant and now that it is tetraploid plant, it has the genetic information related to potato and tomato. They yield both potato. The underground part of the plant yields potato, whereas the aerial part of the plant through their reproductive organs yield tomato. Similarly, the technology is used for obtaining Raphanus brassicae. In animal tissue culture technology, we are able to develop liger, a combination of lion and tiger, a combination of horse and donkey called as mule. So these are the some of the examples through which we have obtained some rare type of organisms which are called as intergeneric organisms which is impossible through conventional means in an in vivo condition. That means traditionally these intergeneric process cannot be obtained, they can be obtained only through tissue culture technology. Another application of tissue culture technology is production of haploid plants. Conventionally all plants and animals which are born in the nature are deployed by virtue of their existence because of sexual reproduction. Haploid plants and animals cannot be grown naturally but that is made possible through tissue culture technology. By taking generative cells, haploid cells, in plant haploid cells are given only during sexual reproduction either during the production of pollen grains or during the production of eggs. So through those sources, generative sources, we get 
haploid cells, particularly the anthers. Anthers, because they are haploid, select a plant, then isolate the anthers, subject the anthers for a process called a surface sterilization, and after surface sterilization, inoculate the anthers into culture media, and these culture media will differentiate into a group of cells which is called as callus. From callus, we get artificial embryo like structures called as embryoids, and after the embryoids are subcultured and subjected for morphogenesis, they produce the organs such as shoot system and root system. Organs, organs get generated so that a haploid plant, an haploid plant is generated. The purpose of producing haploid plant is to study the pure line characters of the plant and animal. So, which characters of plant are from male character, from male parent, and which characters of a plant are from female source? To understand that, we grow haploid plants not only to study as or for research to, to study the characters, pure line characters of male plant, male plant, male parent or female parent, they can also be used for hybridization. For example, if this haploid plant is subjected for chromosomal doubling, doubleization of the chromosomes by spraying colchicine, the chromosomal number will be doubled and the haploid plant becomes diploid. So, homozygous characters can be studied in these type of plants. So, that is the advantage of producing. Another application of plant tissue culture is production of polyploid plants. I hope uh, you all know what polyploid plants are. Polyploid plants are the plants which have more than two sets of chromosomes. The polyploids, polyploid plants may be triploid, tetraploid, pentaploid, hexaploid, etc. etc. The plants which have three sets of chromosomes, they are called as triploid plants. The plants which have four sets of chromosomes are called as tetraploid plants. Likewise, pentaploid, hexaploid, heptaploid, polyploid. The procedure of producing polyploid plant is culture a diploid plant which will be virus free, free of pathogens, then subject this plant for doubleization of chromosomes by spraying a chemical called as colchicine. Either you can double the chromosomal number by spraying the chemicals or you can double the chromosomes by eradication of or exposure of ultraviolet radiation either physically or chemically induce doubleization of the chromosome so that the plant becomes tetraploid and that tetraploid plant gives gigas effect in the plants because of the size of the flowers and fruits increase drastically so that it has its application in the field of horticulture, floriculture and other sectors of agriculture units. The procedure may be in this way of production of polyploid plant or you can take a triploid cell isolated from the plant. I hope you all know there is a triploid cell in plant called as endosperm which is triploid which is a nourishing tissue. Endosperm is a nourishing tissue which nourishes the developing embryo which is given by natural means due to triple fusion in sexual reproduction. That triploid cell or the endosperm itself can be taken and that can be cultured through tissue culture technology so that the plant is made triploid and that triploid gives gigas effect and because of gigas effect the size of the flower, fruit or any other organ can be drastically increased. I have an image over here where I have kept two strawberries, images of strawberry where one strawberry is very small, this is a diploid this the strawberry is obtained from diploid plant that is conventional means whereas the strawberry on the right hand side 
is drastically large and the size is increased because of the Gigas effect given due to polyploidy. So, with this, I thank you. With this, uh, I conclude my lecture. If you like my video, please subscribe my video. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe.